Now let us look at the organ specific and tissue specific manifestations of disease. Earlier we discussed that certain microorganisms they cause the disease only at a particular part of our body that is organ specific or not even the part only a particular tissue of that part. So the diseases which are affecting a particular tissue or an organ they show specific manifestation let us see. In many of the diseases the point of entry and place of infection are different. See for example a mosquito it bites on your hand means the microorganisms which cause the disease malaria entering through your hand but on the hand on the surface of the hand you are not getting any infection or in the hand muscle you are not getting any infection malaria organisms are infecting your liver so the place of entry the point of entry and place of infection are different see here we have certain diseases taking as an example we can discuss the first one TB, TB you see the place of uh, entry, how the TB germs are entering in the previous uh, part we discussed there, a person who is suffering from TB if he coughs or sneezes the droplets of his spit they enter into the air and they may enter the body of other person. If you breathe the droplets then it is infected. So the place of entry may be mouth or nose, mouth or nose. Place of infection, where is this TB is affecting? Even though these organisms are entering your mouth or nose, they are not settling in the mouth or nose, they are reaching the lungs. They are reaching the lungs. TB is affecting the lungs. So what are the cells, tissue present in the lungs is infected by TB? What are the symptoms? So once a particular organ or tissue is affected, infected, when the bacteria they grow in large number, so the infection information is known to us by symptom. The person starts cough. He feels that it, it is a normal cough and he will take go to the doctor, take normal tablets, cough tablets. F first week, the cough is not reduced. The second week, the cough is not reduced. The third week, the cough is not reduced. The doctor will suspect, yes. Three weeks you are suffering from cough, even though I give antibiotics, your cough is not reduced. So it is not a normal infection. You must get diagnosed by the lab test whether you have any severe infection. Then the doctor will find out yes you have TB. So how the doctor has come to know by the symptoms the person gives. The person gives the symptoms I have severe cough and I am getting blood in my spit. So when the doctor finds the symptom blood in the spit he suspects it is TB and get it tested with the help of the symptoms. So moreover and the immune response when there is a kind of infection in a particular organ, in the organ immune response also will be there. So when there is an infection in your nose, you will get some kind of mucus, mucus coming out of your nose. Why the mucus is coming? And you will find all your mucus membranes are inflamed, swollen, inflammation. So inflammation is an immune response, inflammation. So the membranes inside your lungs are showing that inflammation as an immune response, your body immune response. Symptoms are like cough and blood in spit. So this is all about a disease TB. So from this what you are learning, the point of entry and place of infection are different. And when a particular organ or tissue is affected, some symptoms are shown. And in that particular organ, there will be some natural immune response. If a particular part is infected, in that part specific immune response will be there in the form of inflammation. That part will get infl uh, swollen. Inflammation takes place in that part. Now let us see that second one, malaria. Place of infection, any part on the body surface. Body surface. Place of infection is liver. And blood, blood is spoiled. Blood cells are destroyed in large number. It settles in the liver but it spoils the blood cells. Your blood cells are spoiled. So what are the symptoms? Fever, weakness, loss of weight and all this. So here also there will be some kind of immune responses to the malaria. So encephalitis, Japanese encephalitis, place of entry. This is by mosquito bite, 
body surface as like malaria where it settles it settles in your brain brain fever is the symptoms you see headache and the immune response inflammation of brain of brain membranes meningitis uh, encephalitis the brain membranes they are inflamed so this is these are the place of infection the point of entry body surface a mosquito bite and the place where the infection takes place is brain there you find some symptoms like fever headache and all symptoms and there you find some kind of immune response and we see the jaundice that is through mouth contaminated water may cause the jaundice contaminated food causes the jaundice it affects the liver and the symptoms are stomach ache and the turning yellow body turns yellow eyes and the nails eyeballs turn yellow and uh, inflammation of liver these are all observed so organ specific and tissue specific manifestations they are specific to that particular organ but in some cases some diseases are not organ specific and tissue specific what is that hiv hiv infection if hiv infection takes place to a person in a person so actually the hiv virus it will attack the immune system of the person especially it will attack the lymph nodes of the person lymphatic system is another kind of system present in our body along with circulatory system we have lymph nodes present in our tonsils in our neck region and different parts of the body those lymph nodes are affected but here how the manifestations are there in all these cases which part is affected from that part the symptoms and manifestations are shown from that part but whereas in cases like hiv when the immune system of a person is damaged he is prone to almost all the diseases means if any bacteria enters into his body and causes cholera his own immune mechanism cannot produce any reaction to that response to that so the cholera it becomes so severe whatsoever infection he gets that infection it flares up and becomes uncontrolled and may lead to death so no kind of infection is controlled and no immunity is uh, against that particular disease such a condition there the manifestation is not organ specific overall body is affected in cases like hiv if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus